Record mode is one of the important search and navigation tools on the 7000 series oscilloscope. Here we'll use record mode to capture segments or thousands of frames of data that we can then play back and analyze in different ways. Let's see how that works. So first we have our signal here. We see that it's a 1 megahertz signal with an occasional dropout on it. We've seen that before. Let's go ahead and look deeper. So, you know, the first thing we can do is really zoom in on that signal. To, now we can really clearly see the dropout is occasional. By the, by the color, we can tell that the, uh, most of the time the signal goes high, but once in a while it drops out. But we really want to see how that works together um, and what the timing and the nature of that signal are. So one thing we can do here is really isolate that signal. And let's do that with the zone trigger. So now we're capturing only triggers that are, that are happening um, when, after that edge, it drops down immediately. So that gives us um, just those failures. We can separate them. And now we can go into the record mode and use this tool to really capture thousands of these. So actually, I'll set it up to the max, and record thousands of these at a time. So you can see it's capturing them as we go through. And it can actually store up to 450,000, a little more than 450,000 frames like this. So you can capture looking for failures over you know, hours, days, uh, longer periods, depending upon the nature of the error you see and how you want to correlate it with other data. So we feel like we have enough of those. There, I've captured about 20,000. Now we can go back and we can use our nav keys to kind of play through that, look at those individually like a movie, correlate them with other signals we've seen, or we can just you know, go frame by frame, look at each individual signal and why that is. So, you know, we, we had other embedded signals on here. We could look for causation and correlation with other signals and really get a great idea of how this signal, this dropout, is occurring in time and why it's occurring. So what's important there is really the ability to segment that data or look at this in frames of, of thousands of triggered events. Instead of one long continuous frame, we can look at you know, over 400,000 uh, segmented events and be able to play them back and correlate them that way.